Hi everyone. Mike here again. Today we're gonna turn this image I shot several years ago of a man yelling, into a caricature. Let's get started. Start by separating the subject from the background, so that you have a layer with just the subject and one with just the background. Next, use the lasso tool to make a selection of the head. Right click and select layer via copy. Depending on how much room you have on your background, you can either shrink the body, or enlarge the head. Since the subject in my image takes up a lot of the background, I'm going to shrink the body. I copied and pasted the arm from one side to the other to fix where it was originally cropped off. Use the liquify filter to start shaping the figure. I'm just doing the body here first. I know I want to change the background a bit. So I first created a spotlight using a large soft round brush with white as a color, then lowered that layer's opacity. Then, I used the hue saturation adjustment layer to change the background color. Next I add a selective color adjustment and clip it to the subject to make its color better match the background. I use liquify here to make some small changes to the head shape. To exaggerate facial features, I make separate selections of the mouth, ears, and nose, then use the warp tool to reshape them. I made some more small changes with liquify, then continued with the transform warp tool. Now use the smudge brush set to a medium strength to smudge out all the details on the subject. You may have to play with different strengths to find one which smudges just enough to remove the details but that doesn't overblend and mix the underlying tones. We'll be smoothing those tonal transitions later. This part can take a while, so I've sped up the footage. Next, we need to create more dimension by dodging and burning with curves. Create a brightness curve and a shadows curve and put a black mask on both. Paint on the masks with a white brush with the flow set low, around 2 to 5 pixels, and enhance the shadows and highlights. If you go too far, group the two layers together and lower the opacity. Now to sharpen the image. I use the Smart Sharpen filter and make it just strong enough to define all the edges. Now what I should have done here was mask the sharpened layer and paint it in where I wanted it so I could control the haloing. But instead I did it in a dumb way and sharpened the whole thing. Then use the clone stamp to remove the brightest halos around the subject. Afterwards I smartened up and erased the sharpening from the other areas where the haloing was most noticeable.
for the hair. I could have left it as it was, but decided to use a copy of the hair from before I did the smudging and apply the oil paint filter on it. I then painted that layer and blend it with the smudged version. Next, I again used the smudge tool to smooth out some of the harsher transitions between the skin tones, as well as some of the texture that was introduced when sharpening. Some final liquefying to exaggerate the character just a bit more. Now I wanted to add some rim light to the subject. I do this by painting on the edges and the parts where I think light would hit it if the lights were set behind and off to the side of the subject. I went with a warm color to keep things cohesive with the overall warm tone of the image. I used the bright warm color on a medium low flow and started painting on a new layer. After I had painted on all the spots I thought would be hit by the light, I used the smudge brush to smooth out the lines and make them look more natural and realistic. On a new layer, I brushed around the same spots with a bright or warm color to create hot spots where the light would be hitting directly, then smudged those as well. It wasn't looking as good on this side with the warm tone, so I ended up using a clipped hue saturation layer to tweak the colors. With that finished I headed into the camera raw filter to add some HDR effects and a little color toning. Afterwards, I did some final color toning using a mixture of the Infinite Color Panel plugin and color lookup tables. Now, because this character is yelling, I used an underwater particle texture to make it look like spit was flying out of his mouth. I put the layer on a screen blending mode and painted on a mask where I wanted it to be visible. And finally, to add a little atmosphere, I added a yellowish glow flaring around the subject's neck where the light is hitting the background. And there you have it. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think of the finished image in the comments section. This is a brand new channel and I'm trying to build an audience so please be sure to like and subscribe to help me grow the channel. And please leave any feedback or questions in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>